Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current PyCharm version on Windows. For that, we need to follow some steps. First, we will install Python. Then we will install PyCharm. After that, we will connect both Python and PyCharm. And in the end, we will run a sample Python program on PyCharm. Let's start with the first step. Let us install Python 3.13 on Windows. At first, go to the web browser. On Google type Python and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it, python.org. Here is the official website. Now directly keep the mouse cursor on downloads and the current version 3.13.0 is visible. Click on it. On clicking the download will start. It's only 26 MB. The download completed. EXE file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Now the installation setup started. First select the use admin privileges and add python.exe to path. Now we will click customize installation to understand what we are actually installing. So here in we will install pip also. Pip is used to download, install and manage python packages and libraries. We will also install IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run python programs. Ok, keep them as it is and click next. Now advanced options, click the first one. If you are the admin of the system, I am the admin. So I will select this. Now rest keep as it is. Here you can see it will also set python to environment variables. And uh, Python will get installed here under C program files, which is fine. Click install. Now the setup will start. Now the setup is successful. Click close. Now let us go to start and verify the installation. Type cmd. Click open. Now type the command python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. So we installed the current python version successfully. Minimize. So guys we successfully installed the current python version. Now let us install the current PyCharm version. For that go to the web browser. Here in on Google type PyCharm and press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible. JetBrains.com Now here in directly click on download. Now two versions will be visible. The first one is a paid version with a free 30 day trial. We don't want this. We want the free version. So go below. Here it is free built on open source. For Windows, click download. Now the download should start. The download started. It's 467 MB. Let's wait. We have installed the PyCharm Community Edition free and open source. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Now the setup started. Click next. PyCharm will get installed in the following location. It will take 1.7 GB. Ok, click next. Now you can add a desktop shortcut by clicking here. You can also select this open folder as project directly. Now click next. Click install and the setup will install now. Now click finish. Here in you can see the shortcut is visible. 
to open it you can directly click here or go to start type pycharm and click here open okay so i'll open it now pycharm will open for the first time skip import now welcome to pycharm is visible you can see now we will link our python and pycharm and also run our first python program on pycharm click new project here you can see you can add the project name so let's say i'll me name it python amit project and here is the path wherein your project will get saved okay we will see it later you can see it automatically detected that we installed python 3.13 this is the same path okay so we already have python here you can see c drive program files and here it is python and the following is visible here it is python.exe okay the same path is visible that means it automatically detected now both python and pycharm got connected it has automatically detected now you need to just click on create this will create our first project now here is our pycharm we created the project with the name python amit project okay you can right click and uh, click new to create a new python file here in select python file name the python file let's say i'll name amit it will automatically add the dot py extension because the python file is by default selected here you just need to press enter now you can see your file is visible amit dot py here it is okay now i'll uh, write my first code let's say i'll first write a comment so i'll just print something using the print method and i'm printing and i am printing my name that's it go to above here and uh, click save all right click and select run amit now here you can see amit divan is visible that means we successfully ran our first program if you want a free python and pycharm tutorial then refer the link in the description of this video thank you for watching